Uh, uh, good morning, everyone. Welcome to day four of the 2000 Virtual Empowerment and Entrepreneurship Program. Welcome to Today, we will be focusing on product selling online and offline, making money online or offline has to be with you doing any of the following. How to create products how to market and sell the product. Stay tuned as our experts are here ready to share a lot of things with you. As we all know, the world today cannot be compared with the back century where everything is analog. I'm mostly happy with this new century, the century of youth in technology, the century of opportunity, the century of innovation, and the century of the new development. In the sense that all you need to have today is the attitude of innovation, the attitude of innovating something that will add value to the community or to the country or to the continent in general. You can, you can connect to millions of people if you really know how to add value or how to communicate and innovate. Those years back, we said we know that they said education is the key to success. But for me, when you add attitude towards innovation, that will lead you to succeed. Education alone cannot give you everything, but with the attitude of innovation, I believe you have a lot to do. So thank you so much for having a wonderful time with us, for giving us such valuable time from you, and also for interacting with you guys. We believe teamwork can make things happen. We believe the youth, when we add values to what the youth wants, I believe everything will happen. I believe in so many things that youth of Nigeria can do in order to showcase, in order to, to solve the problems that we are having within the country. We are in a country where a lot of youth have ideas a lot of youths are they are hiding. They don't want to come up to tell us the real facts of what they have. But with this concept, we believe with the coming of the DNI hub, a lot will come up. The government of this country will get to know that the youths are ready. The youths are the real innovators. The Nigerian youths are educated are innovative and also are key to most of the challenges, to most of the solutions of our economy today. Stay tuned, as I always said, we have a lot of youth with us. We have a vibrant young lady and uh, I believe she's ready to share a lot of things with us today, the person of Shamsia Umar. I believe today is going to be a wonderful class by coming up with uh, that solution of a thing. So if Shamsia is available, please can you start telling the youth uh, what we have? Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Once again, my name is Shamsia Umar, as Elia mentioned. I will be facilitating the class today on introduction to product selling, both online and offline. Okay, um, 
objective of the course are by the end of this course we are expecting that you should have an understanding of the following concepts what's one what is products two types of products how to create a product and how to market and sell a product what is a product the definition of a product what do you understand by a product a product simply is something created by an individual to satisfy his or her customer's needs and want. Um, a product can either be physical or digital. That is what you can see physically and what you can get online. Fiscal products are those products consumed physically. Fiscal products are in form of food items, luxury materials, entertainment, and and so on. While digital products are those types of products that you can that cannot be consumed by holding, it is a form of services rendered or experiences. It can be in form of ebooks, softwares, videos, music, etc. Types of products. Okay, so we have basically two types of products um to present in this class the fiscal products which includes durable goods like cars motorcycles ships um computers mobile phones etc and the non-durable goods which are in the same category of the fiscal products are the non-perishable goods like the vegetables the beverages the foods that you consume what you eat etc Digital products are those types of products that you can that cannot be consumed, but they are in form of um, services rendered or experience in solving problems, e.g., education softwares and other digital products, um, which is the reason why we are having these classes in the first place to understand ways and means to start up a business a digital business whereby you can improve your um, intellectual capacities where you get to be where you get to be knowledge or literate computer literate with the advent of itc and we are in the 21st century most things are not sold manually anymore how do you create a product is what i'm going to talk about next before creating a product, you need to first attain the most important steps in product creation process, which is the idea of market search. Okay, so what do we know about market search? Before you identify or sell a product, you need to go and do what we call market survey. You need to know a product, a particular identify the product you want to sell out, how you want to sell it out, and then you go around the market, check the visibility, um, the duration of each product, how easy it is for you to get that product, how easy it's going to be, be for you to sell those products, etc. So um, all products follow the steps for success, namely they are product ideas, like I mentioned earlier, identify the products you want, market search, like I said, um, audience and competitors spying, you have to go to the market, know the duration of each product, know how many people sell those products or how renowned the product is. In quotes, it can be popular. Three, you need to create a product branding, which is very important. You need to be outstanding. You need to be um, unique when it comes to branding because um, branding is what... Um, uh, makes you unique from other products because definitely when you're selling a product you need to find various people selling similar products but when your branding is unique you tend to sign and um, stand out for is market the product that's advertisement what we are trying to achieve one of the things we are trying to achieve in this class is um, how to sell products online and how to make use of the um, digital marketing processes to sell products so advertisements can be physical it can be digital 
Number five, automate the sales process. That is email marketing, which is very important too. Number six, delivery channels. Okay, you need to create uh, channels where you would deliver your products. It can be an online chain. It can be physical chain with the um, advent of courier services now, which you can order online or you can order physically, which is very effective. Number seven is develop the product brand. You need to develop your brand. Um, and various ways to develop your brand is consistency, which is very important when you own a business or you tend to progress in a business. You need to be very consistent in developing a product brand. How to market and sell a product? Um, it's very important to know how you can market and sell a product because marketing a product can be it can be a bit discouraging when you are not making sales from the environment you are currently marketing your product. But with the help of social media, which is very very key, and other advertising mediums such as solo ads, influencer ads, a product can get in the face of more prospects and sales can increase. Marketing of products can be done traditionally or digitally. Traditionally, it can be by the use of radio stations, television stations, billboard flyers, and so on. Digitally, it can be use of search ads, social media, solo ads, influencers, and so on. Moving on, we want to um, distinguish between physical products and um, digital products. All products have their advantages and disadvantages, their setbacks also, um, but here are a common difference between physical products and digital products. A physical product is created to have an expiry date, expiration date, while a digital product has no expiration dates it can only be modified. In conclusion, uh, digital products are renewable and they have no expiring dates. That is, um, you know, when you're are not like, for example, physical products, they are not what you can touch, what you can feel. They are software products, so they, they don't have any expiration dates. They can only be renewable, but physical products have expiration dates and can go out of stock when there's a high demand, higher demand than the supply. For example, when you are selling food or beverages, for example, and there's a high demand of a particular product like rice, and the supply or maybe production of this particular product is very low. So you tend to, you tend to um, go out of stock in, of each product. Um, lastly, I have a question for um, all the prospective. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam, sorry. Um, sorry, um, Madam Hashem, uh, can you um, kindly explain back this um, slide? I think uh, your network was a bit down. Sorry about that. Okay. Um, yeah. The conclusion slide. Okay, I said in conclusion, digital products are renewable and they have no expiration dates. For example, like I made mentioned earlier, they are softwares, they are such ads, they, they are not physical products which you can touch or they are not perishable products which can get spoiled. They are just renewable. They have no expiration dates. Well, physical products have expiration dates. They can go out of stocks when demands are higher than supply. And I gave example earlier, for example, when you have, when you produce a particular product like rice and there's a lot of demands on that rice and it gets out of stock because there's a low supply and higher demand for this particular product. So digital products have no problem on that. You don't need to possibly keep producing.
we've seen because there's higher demands for this particular product, or we were afraid of getting out of stock of this product. But for, for fiscal products, you definitely have to increase your, your production if you want to sell well because of high demands. I don't know if I was clear enough or if my network was good. Can I proceed to the next slide? Please, if you can listen, just okay. Okay. Uh, to wrap up the session, I have a question because um, I didn't just come here to talk, I came here to make an impact. So I would need to know what type of product would you like to have and why do you choose to create such type of product? If you really understand what I said about production, if you really understand what I said about types of production, which are types of product, sorry, which are fiscal and digital products. So you should let me know what type of product you would like to create and why do you choose to create such type of products? Um, any questions for the day? Come on, hit me. Okay. Okay, sorry, I, I'm getting a message from Ahmed Said. Can I chip in? Yes, please. Please. No, you have the floor. Um Good morning, everyone. I uh, really appreciate you people for coming on uh, this morning. So we are really sorry for um, the network issues. So despite the inconveniences from the network providers, <laughs> you know, this is our Nigeria, we have problems with network people. It's either your MTL, we're having problems today. Tomorrow, Glue, we're having problems. Next tomorrow, ATL. So we're no problem. They cannot stop whatever we're doing, right? We have to continue. So with all this being said, you've all heard her. She has explained a lot about product creation, product selling, what type of products that you can create and other things, uh, the advantages and uh, disadvantages of all those type of products, where she was giving illustrations with, um, if you're having a physical product, e.g. you want to sell rice, Right. If you're a farmer and you want to go and um, farm rice, maybe you cultivate rice somewhere and then you start selling. If uh, you are selling here in Lafia or you are selling anywhere in Nestrawa State and kind of uh, the people ordering for that rice are plenty. You know, people in Nigeria would love rice. Uh -huh. So if somebody, if, if, the, if you have like 100 bags of rice and now the people ordering for that, the people ordering, like demanding for that rice now, they are up to 300. Ah, so you have to go and farm and get that rice that day. So which is not possible because rice is, you can cultivate rice, you, you farm rice and then you harvest it in three months, I guess. The farmers in the, in the, in the room, you, fa you farm rice and then you harvest it in three months, if I am not mistaken. So um, also, okay, also um, you, th that's kind of make you not to, yeah? Your network is yeah. triggering, and I think there's a sound coming up, and I think people online are already noticing. Okay. I don't know if it's from the app, it's like it's she sounds. Oh. Can you all hear me now? Yeah, that's better now. That's better. Okay, it sounds better now. Okay, so I was um, explaining. Uh, can you all hear me? It, uh, is my mic okay for you people? Okay, so 
um, as I was explaining, I said if you are farming, if you are farming rice, and you have you you cultivated and you got a um, hundred bags of rice, and people demanding for that rice, that bags, you understand, are uh, up to two hundred or three hundred, you see that there will be kind of a setback, and your customers are there waiting for you. They you cannot sell more than what you have, right? You cannot sell more than what you have. So which makes your product to go out of stock. But with a digital product, imagine that, okay, I you have a knowledge on, on um, what uh, should I talk about? Let's assume you want to teach maths. And in the school, people are demanding for, um, like they are demanding for maths um, lecturer or maybe a maths tutor or something, but not in a physical way. I don't know if you are getting me. Not in a physical way. You can create an online platform, maybe on WhatsApp or on Facebook or anywhere, or just the way we are presenting like this to you. You are like you you will be the tutor, and then what will happen? You can create a pre-recorded video. When you create a pre-recorded video about any topic in maths, anybody that wants to watch is going to watch those topics based on what they want to learn as at that time. Do you understand? So really, a, a digital product has much of advantage. It doesn't go out of stock. You only need to set it up, automate it in such a way that um, you are going to set it um, in such a way that you are not going to be communicating with the with, with the with the students or maybe the customers always. There are some kind of ways that we automate. Uh, okay, somebody is talking here. There are some kind of ways, yeah. There are some kind of ways that we automate um, uh, kind of uh, our our product when it comes to digital products. We set up something called a landing page. Do you understand? A landing page is just simply assume it to be like a CV explaining something. You know, a CV about human being talks about you in summary, right? So a landing page is just like a CV for a product also. Take it like that. You understand? Let me explain it like that. So a landing page is what explains the product, tells you the advantage, the advantage of that product, tells you how many people have purchased that product, how many people are still purchasing that product. You understand? So a boat, like a machine, that's what I mean, a boat. I don't know if you if you go to some website, you'll be seeing, you'll be seeing kind of some uh some kind of one round stuff at the bottom of websites is going to tell you that um do you have any message or what do you want to know or things like that so if you want to know anything you just click there and then you start you start communicating with the machine that is being uh set up on that place those of us that um kind of you you i don't know those of us that apply for empower right if you apply for empower you see on empower website that there's one small, like a small machine, just like the way you see our logos showing here, you see Instagram, Facebook, and LinkedIn, then you see DNI Hubs and things like that. So you just see a round, a round stuff telling you, asking you, like, ask me anything. Do you have any question? And things like that. So those are ways that we automate our products online. So uh, if, you, if, you, if you go through the landing page of that product, you don't really understand what is there, you check through the FAQ, which is frequently asked question. So you, when you check through FAQ and then you don't really understand what is going on there and you still need some clarity. When you need some clarity, what's going to happen there is simply you start, contact, you contact uh, the, you contact the owner of the product and you ask, you ask him anything directly and he's going to answer you. And then you build trust with him for you to be able to buy uh, products. So I'll kind of go through the slide again once more. So I'll make some kind of a recap for you people and you maybe you, from there you understand me perfectly. So this is the meaning of FAQ, frequently asked questions. Come, let me show it to you. Some people might just say, I don't understand. So FAQ simply stands for frequently asked question. So this is the meaning of FAQ, frequently asked question, right? So let me go through the slide again with you. Okay, I think Shamsia is here, right? So if I make any mistake, madam, you just simply correct me. So from the beginning here, we said products, right? Like products are 
or anything. It's just anything that you have in exchange. You 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 make it in form of an exchange for 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 money. Do you understand? You sell a product and they pay you for it. So a product can simply be in form of a, a physical product. I was I have been explaining this. This is a physical product, right? This is a phone. You can all see this is a physical product. You cannot say you cannot be touching this thing. If you want to buy sachet water, this is a physical product also. Do you get me? You want to buy book, pencil, biro. People that love chocolates, all those sweets that you love taking, all those are physical products. So you go, you pay money to the owner of that product, and then you collect that product. As simple as that uh, seems. Do you understand? So that is the meaning of a, uh, a physical product. You're saying that for money. But a digital product now, it's it's not something you can hold. It's just like MX Player. Let's take MX Player as an example. Can you carry MX Player and hold it and say you want to hold it in your hand and you're watching video? It's not possible. Right? Or you want to hold... Um, what applications, again, do we have? Any type of application that you think of, you can talk about it in the comment section. You cannot hold all of that, all, all of those um, applications or the software, like your Avast uh, antivirus, your your uh, Noton antivirus, your is it Kapaski, and the rest of them. You can't hold them. But what? You can use them. Right? Also, you can create courses to teach somebody something. Those are products. Do you understand? Somebody is saying that you can create products and markets. Awesome. That's great. VLC. Awesome. That's great. So, uh, no, YouTube is not a product. YouTube is a platform. Are we together? You, this is your name. That is Ashims, Ashims. I don't really understand your name, but I like your name. So, these uh, products are, yeah, like Microsoft Word. Awesome. Like Microsoft Word. So, Microsoft Word is a product. People selling data. Data resellers, those data they are selling is a product, but in soft, in, in, I don't understand. Yeah, it's just soft, soft product. You don't, you cannot touch it. You cannot eat. Or can you eat uh, one gig? If you can eat one gig, you can comment here. Or maybe you can eat one gig. I don't know. So can you, or can, can anybody eat one gig here? So you cannot eat one gig. Thank you. So let's continue. So um, you already understand. Your music that you listen to, uh you listen to the video or you listen to a whiskey those things those sound you listen to quranic verses um by biblical verses that you listen to you listen to preachers so like and then you 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 start doing well thank you all those things are, are, are digital products so people sell all of those things wow notepad uh -huh. uh -huh. thank you developer <laughs> okay, so a product can be created in two forms, either physical, digital. I've explained it. I don't have to go back again. But digital product, as I was saying, it can be in educational format, teaching somebody something. When you go to YouTube, you can learn anything. Thank you. I, don't, I cannot say anything again. Now, let's come here now. How to create a product? Like, things that you need to know before you create a product. Let's take your environment. As an example, every every see every part of Nigeria have what they like. Mm? Like <laughs> my area, mm? my area. I think what people like sometimes is some people like talking about <laughs> relationship. It's like everybody wants to turn a relationship advisor or something. So, but me, Shao, don't like it too because me, I don't have time for that one. My own is to come and talk about money. You understand? Investment. Let's make investment and go and sleep. Do you understand? So if you are in that kind of area, you have to what? Watch the people. Do some market research. You, this, you see this number two? Number two has to come before number one. Even if you have the product idea, you understand? You might have an idea. Then you go and do market research. If it's not okay, you come back again and do that idea again. You create another idea. Do you understand? And other things. So things like that. And so it comes down to market research, product idea, product idea, market research, create the product. You understand? When you are creating the product, comes with you, you have to package. Do you understand? You do t-shirts or you do pickup 
or you do wristband or you create a video, all those things come together in terms of branding. When you get your t-shirt, are you getting the logic? When you get your t-shirt, you get a video explaining your product. Or if you know how to write very well. As for me, I can explain with the mouth. Hmm? I cannot come and start typing the product itself because I think it's going to waste those people's time that want to read it. So I will create a video about my product. If I want to sell this phone to you, you understand? If I want to sell this phone to you, I'll come and see, I'll come. You know some people, they come and tell you about this phone. I'll tell you that this phone, it has, it's, it's gold-plated, it has camera, the camera can zoom from here to, to Kenya. You'll be like, ah! Then I'll tell you that, see, this phone, it can change water to stone, change, and you'll be like, how far, how much, how much? Or if I tell you that, if I want to sell data to you, my data will, will last for six months or three months. You know Nigerians would like a wolf now. If I tell you that data lasts for 90 days, <laughs> that's the one you want to buy. So it's very sweet when you, if I tell you, sweet mouth, then you buy. That is packaging. You understand? You package the product very well so that it makes sense to somebody and they will buy. So that's why I was saying yesterday, remember when, what I was saying yesterday, that if somebody is selling a product for 1,000 naira, and you, you are selling for 900 naira. Share the, 100, the, 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 the difference is 100 naira. Huh? It doesn't mean anything, no. It's who has sweet mouth that wins. Do you understand? It's who has sweet mouth that is going to win. So if you don't have sweet mouth, sorry. <laughs> so you, have, you, need to, you need to know the act of what? Of selling. Communication in selling. Marketing. Know how to talk to people. Convince them. Somebody will come and tell you, uh, good morning, no. I used he will be friend with you. He will shake you. He will be like, what's wrong with this guy? He doesn't have any problem. Or he's just trying to get to you so that you calm down and then he will start explaining his product to you very well. Then your brain has set to you. You won't even know when you put your hand in your pocket. <laughs> then, you guys should Allah, just give me so that I'll just go. I, I hope we are communicating here. Hmm? I hope we are communicating. So, um, marketing your product is very, very important. Also, this is the most important place I like. As for me, I cannot be rounding Nigeria and be making noise with you. I only like automate my system and sleep. That's my life. Only. Automate system and sleep. That's making money while you sleep. People automate their system. Come on, you just be there. When you create a landing page, you understand? Let me try to be seeing if I can get you people a, a landing page about any, any, any product. You understand? About any product. Um, let's see Kazipi. Let me let me let me help my my uh the kazipi hub or beam remy lawa yeah so this i'll share this page with you this is a landing page explain explaining the product so that you see it live yeah so let me share this screen with you people so that you see about this product i didn't say you should go and buy anything new i'm just using that illustration don't go and do sabi sabi i beg thank you very much yeah so, um, where is it? Okay, awesome. Awesome. You can all see my screen, right? You can see this is KZP Hub Fiber Acceleration Acceleration Program. This page may take a while to load due to whatever, whatever, whatever. It's because they are making a lot of sales. So, if I come here, look at this man. I play this video. This is a testimony. Do you understand? Hi, hello, everyone. See? Yeah, um, my name is Michael, and I want to talk to you about Fiber Acceleration Program. And uh, but before I joined, this guy is explaining this product. Do you understand? This is a landing page talking about a product. He's now telling you that, yes, I am ready to, to be your next success story. This is a call to action button. Do you understand? After listening to these things that you like this, uh, what's it called? What these people have, what these people are saying, this guy is a video editor. Let me go put this right. You see, I was looking about 500 to 800 dollars. Um. But since I've joined, I've made more like people of that. So, um, and um, the services I offer on Fiverr are I do video production and video post, pre and post production, and animation, also 2D and 3D. I'm explaining, I'm explaining. So, now you can all understand what is happening here, right? This landing page, you see, it's giving you testimony, so many things. When you, this is a digital product. So after all these things, then if you are convinced and you want to join the program, 
you go to this place telling you that I am ready, I want to join your next success story, and then you join. Simply, that is how it works, creating a digital product. You create a landing page about the product, explain the product, and everything will be fine. Do you understand? So now what is going to happen? The owner of that product now, he doesn't need to stress himself and be available always. People are talking about the success story of joining his, his program. And what happens? You see that people will like it and they'll be buying there even without contacting him. As simple as that is. So the only thing that matters here is having the right knowledge. You need to have knowledge, sell the knowledge. When you want to sell the knowledge, you choose to, auto uh, to, uh, to automate your knowledge or you choose to keep it uh, maybe physical by going to, 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 to your area people, like the people in your locality, make sure you are selling this thing to them or you'll be teaching them for free the way we are doing on YouTube. We'll get to that YouTube aspect why you know, you, when you are going to know the advantage of giving a, 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 a free knowledge also. So all these products, right? These are ways that we create products. These are ways to create digital products. I'm not saying physical product is bad because physical product you cannot do without eating. Nobody can eat paper. If you eat paper, you, you just faint. So you must eat food. So you cannot do without physical product, without physical product also. We have to eat. So you choose which one you want to do. You choose to want to sell uh, rice, beans, yam, uh, I don't know, just mention them in the comment section. Anything that you want to sell, any kind of business that you want to go into, you choose. If you are the kind of person that you are like me, Lekba, you cannot go out much because if I carry one bag of rice, my hand can just bend and break. So I cannot do that. I only use the knowledge that I have, share it as a digital product. Everyone has a strength. Everyone knows what he can do. Don't do, don't do beyond what you have strength for. You understand? So choose where your strength is, leverage on it, and use it well. You can choose to want to use others also. Okay. So now, um, also, okay. So uh, you choose that automation system. Now you can choose your delivery channel. I talked about courier service also. Uh, also, uh, awesome, awesome with digital analysis here. Yeah? So you can choose to do what? To uh, kind of deliver your services the way you want it. There are different ways that people deliver uh, these services. If you could remember, I know some of us have been watching NTA, but you've been ignoring it. It got to a time that Nigeria government have to track e-commerce business in Nigeria. They saw that individuals, individuals are using the system of mini importation people will be people will be buying we buying things from china we buying things from turkey we buying things from united states of america we buying things from uh, from 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 germany from different parts of, of the world even inside nigeria you are in you are in nasarawa you buy from from Kano. you understand you buy from Kano. you buy from you buy from lagos you come and resell it in your environment do you understand the only thing that you need to do it's your deliver your, your delivery uh, this uh, service that you need to what set up how you deliver is it through the car park that you go just garage that you package it send it to those people that you put your phone number that's the person sending and the person that is uh, receiving the person sending in case if they go to that place and the person that was receiving did not get that product they want they might want to return it so they need to get your contact so when they bring it back, they will call you and then they will give you back your product that they didn't get to the right, the, the, the customer did not respond when they got to the station. Am I, I do you understand? I, are you, are we communicating here? If you are communicating, if you are understanding this, if you are enjoying it, please kindly, kindly signify in the comment section. We have talent, we have talent, but the only thing is we are not leveraging on it or because we have not understand how to outreach to other people. That is really what is there. If you are on, if you are with me, if you understand this, if you are understanding what I'm what I've been what, what I've been talking about, kindly comment in the section below. Yes, I can see um I give us Samuel. Thank you very much. Yes, uh, thank you, right on. Awesome. Yes, I can see you. Yes, awesome. Yes, I can feel you guys. Someone is been smiling. I really appreciate you, people. So let's ride on. So now. Your delivery services can be, you be using, um, what's it called? Um, let's assume you want to use, um, 
you want to use FedEx, there's FedEx, or you want to use DHL, or you want to use GIG. So many people know GIG from the south. I think I know about GIG when I was in Portacourt, right? I know about GIG. GIG Motors, they started as a transport, uh, just in, uh, as a transport uh, firm, right? They do transport people from the south to the northern part of Nigeria or to the north uh, central or to the north anywhere. You understand? But now they are into logistics. Logistics is simply what? Delivering services. Like they will be taking products from this customer to, uh, sorry, from the seller to the customer, from the seller to the customer, and things like that. That's how logistics is. Or they will go, yeah, awesome, 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 awesome. So they will go outside to maybe um, United States. If you buy something from United States and you want somebody to deliver to you, GIG logistics are going to what? Bring it from that place to Nigeria for you. How awesome is that? So you need to understand all of these things. These are things to understand. It's just simply understanding information. You need information to know how this works. By the special grace of God, we'll be teaching you all these things at, here at DNIO for absolutely free. You're not paying us. You can see that we are doing a very great job for you people. If you know that, if you if you think we are doing a great job, kindly kindly send us a, a thank you in the comment section, guys. So uh now if I continue, your um you have to develop the product. You 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 develop the product after all these things, you develop the product, you might develop the product even before uh the the, the delivery because you cannot do delivery when the product is not available, right? So the I think I should put we, we needed to put develop product then uh, before automation, right? But all these processes are things that you still follow. Then you package, right? You see, Jumia. Let me explain something about Jumia for you, if in case for those of us that don't really understand what Jumia is doing. Jumia is just like market. The way you go to those markets that you'll be hearing ping ping, somebody will be shouting, somebody will pour your saliva, and then we'll go. <laughs> so now, Jumia is a marketplace. Do you understand? Awesome. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, awesome. Um, Isaac, um, Isaiah, Isaiah, Philip, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. We really appreciate that here at Diana Hubs. The way Jumia works, this our market is physical, though. Our own normal market is physical. You understand? We will be walking inside, looking for Kaya and things like that. But here, in this e-commerce marketplace, that's how Jumia was. J J Jumia is an e-commerce marketplace like Amazon. Uh, Alibaba, 1688, there are plenty. Gigi, Conga, all those are marketplace. Somebody like you and I, awesome, thank you, thank you, thank you, Muhammad Yakub. So, somebody like you and I, that is into IT, that knows how to create websites very well, you understand, is going to create a marketplace. As simple as that, as that looks. He is now going to connect people that are selling and people that are searching for products, do you understand? Eh? Me, like this now, as I'm, as I'm talking to you, I can be somebody that wants to buy. Mm? And I want to buy something. I will just go to Jumia, the way all of us do. We will go to Jumia, we will search, we will look for our products, the name of whatever thing that I want to buy. Everything is based on your own interest. I might like phones, just like some of our ladies. Yeah iPhone, iPhone, like where everybody wants iPhone, you want to be doing portraits. So I beg you, don't stress your men, I beg. Okay, let's continue. <laughs> so now, somebody might like phones. Another person might like mouse. Do you understand? Somebody might want to buy, you know in Jumia now, you can buy granite oil, you can buy red oil, you buy Ofada rice. Anything that you want to buy is there waiting for you. Do you understand? So you go there, you search for that product, you 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 simply order for that product. Jumia is going to connect, uh, is not going to send notification to those people that want to sell. Do you understand? They will send notification to them. Then they will bring that product to Jumia, uh, what's it called? Pickup stations. Do you understand? And Jumia already created their branding and everything. Those leather for Jumia, the wristband for Jumia, T-shirt for Jumia, everything for Jumia. They've done it. Do you understand? So when you bring your product, they will package it. It will now look like it is Jumia that is having that product. But it is not Jumia that is having that product. It is somebody, sorry, they just took off the light. So it is not Jumia that is having that product. It is somebody connecting with you through Jumia. 
That is simply how it is. That's how Jumia works, right? So if you, if you are telling you today, if in case if you don't know, you can go, yeah, Jumia, yeah, this deliver to your to your doorstep. Jumia are the ones that are handling delivery services, not the person that is selling. Do you understand? You buy, Jumia collects from the person that is selling, they deliver it to your area. So Jumia are the ones that are handling all of that. So as simple as that looks. Now, you can be somebody that, that is selling rice. If you are a rice dealer, if you are a beef dealer, if you are a ground oil dealer, if you are, mm, uh, I don't know, whatever type of dealer that you are, if you are selling rapper, if you are selling uh, uh, beads, if you are selling uh, reform, this, uh, hey, this thing that girls used to put, that some used to go to their back, I enter machine. I don't know, I beg, reduce it. So now, also in Conga, you can go, you, you, you register with them, I don't know. There's a way that they they do uh, they do uh, make sure that you they verify you. When they verify you, you become a customer with them, right? So you come a, a, a verified uh, seller. You sell you you sell through their platform. So that's why I told you that you people are not limited. You can have your products, and then you sell anywhere, right? So you are not limited to what you can do. Okay. So I think we have done justice to this um, digital and, and, and something something product, right? So now, now, how to market and sell a product? Wow, that can be a very challenging stuff, but it depends. I told you with the right knowledge, you don't have to stress yourself much. You only need knowledge to, to market something, a product, and sell it. We market in different ways, depending on how your audience are. If you are not selling outside uh, your particular environment, then you can be doing mouth talk, or you'll be putting uh, a banners, or you'll be putting flyers, giving all hand bills, telling them you're selling something, create your awareness and things. But if you're like me, that me, I cannot come and be talking to everybody. Hey, I have something. Hey, I have another thing. You, I want to sell for you. It's as simple as going through the digital marketing channels. Facebook has plenty of people plenty how many billions of people from usa from nigeria from congo from Cote d'Ivoire, from cameroon from from the whole world do you understand so if your product that you want to sell is a buyer the way nigerian people like a buyer like there's no tomorrow that sometimes guys will be praying that there should not be any naming ceremony or any occasion <laughs> Right, they are not praying for any occasion to even come because of that thing. Hmm? If you are selling a buyer and you are in the United States and you want to sell a buyer to people in Nigeria, the only thing is for you to simply what get a Facebook, a Facebook uh, account, a user account. Then you create something called a Facebook page. Do you understand? A Facebook page helps you to advertise your business. If assuming. Um, I, I want to be like, let's assume uh, I want to create a page about selling shoes. You understand? I can just say um, Zido shoes or um, shoe, uh, shoe, sh buy, buy shoes from, buy shoes from Zaid or I don't think, I don't know, but just give it a brand, a, a, a name that is unique, that is sweet to, that somebody can enjoy calling you the name, not somebody who can carry his village name. Eh? I will put it or paranku something 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 something. I I don't know. That's not how to name your brand. Though. Don't go and carry your village name and come and name your brand. So, okay, somebody is saying that um, we are going to answer this. Don't worry. Let me put it here so I'm going to answer it later. So, um, if you have a brand, if you if you create a Facebook, if you create a Facebook, uh, what's it called? A Facebook page. Then there's something that you need to do. You need to start posting about your your products, your brand. You create a short video explaining to people. You write, you put write-ups explaining to people about your brand, about the business. Just take like seven days with patience. Seven days, one uh, two weeks. You explain the you explain the product very well. When you see that it is capturing people's mind, what are you going to do? You start doing something that they call adverts. You start running Facebook adverts. 
you are promoting the business gradually gradually you run facebook about to promote that page you understand you don't you don't do you don't do garakara you don't rush you don't rush you chill when the money start coming yeah i work at alaga you run ads awesome you run ads so you run ads to 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 promote that particular page so when you when you when you are doing like that it's getting awareness it's getting awareness gradually gradually you see it it will be increasing it will be increasing it will be increasing before you know it the time that you run something called an engagement ad or a conversion ad <clears throat> mm. the only thing that you just need to do there is to just create an online wallet keep it and you are going to see the magic people will just be ordering your account will just be feeling feeling Allah you will be afraid the way online boosts your business but you'll be afraid you'll be like Say this will be winch. Say this, you will just be. You might even just start working in your area and you are smiling. Somebody will be like, What's wrong with this guy? But they don't know that you are, you are making a lot of sales. That's why. You'll be smiling with everybody and you are shaking them. You have how far? How, how things? So that's how to promote your business. Now, you can do it traditionally. I don't do traditional way of marketing. I, I don't do it at all. That's not my. Uh, my expertise i only do digital marketing so that's why i talk more on what on digital marketing so sorry about the blurry um this environment i think it will, we're having some fluctuation in um, in power that's why so now physical product versus digital product everything is based on what you like no one is superior but it's just based on some kind of things the advantage of some and the disadvantage of some but i'll advise you have both of them as simple as that because as for me money has to be coming from every angle me i want to be seeing money everywhere you understand but you have to be creative create something you understand the logic right create something and people are going to buy be business minded create something people will buy see this one see this one so what i'm always talking about see this one don't worry i'll be coming back to you don't worry i'll come back now okay let's continue um a, a physical product has an expiring date or runs out of stock a digital product has never done that before it only needs modification do you understand okay so let's continue um in conclusion just as um hajia shamsia has asked you and behind her because she knows you more than me uh, more than myself i know somebody who wants to catch um, <laughs> so now what type of product will you like to get? Or maybe you already have a product and you want to know how to automate, how to sell, and how to do all of that. With what we have taught you today or what we have shared with you today, you should be able to understand that, okay, if I'm having a physical product, I can sell in my own area and I can synchronize it into the digital space to sell. Also, I can go on Jumia and sell my product the same way people are doing. You understand the logic? If you're having a digital product, hmm? if you're having a digital product, how do you understand? How do you create landing pages to uh, to to automate your system through doing uh, what's it called? Uh, creating uh, email marketing list and others. Do you understand? So and the rest of them. So it all falls down to what you like to do. So whatever thing that you want to do, you have to think about it, right? Think about it. Is it I like digital or I like physical? Whichever one you like, it's fine. But you have to be doing product testing. What I mean by product testing is you test, is this product okay for this market? If it's not okay, you change. Okay. So um i think um okay um let's see coming uh okay so we are having a guest that we like to share uh we've been expecting him and um, right now he's here to share some experience with us so i think um it's awesome i give him some space this is um mr johanna is an awesome creator, a digital creator and others. So he's going to talk about himself better 
And um, Mr. Johanna, are you ready to take on to explain yourself to the audience? So yes, um, thank you very much, um, Ahmed Zaid, for um, what uh, that an amazing section. I um, really, really um, enjoyed um, the whole um, journey from DI, DNI Hubs, and I think I've been following most of the activities that have been happening. And I'm so, so, so um, much um, proud of um, what is coming out of NASA State, um, irrespective of um, how challenging this um, um, economic situation, especially when you tell people to actually join um, a virtual learning process through um, digital means and all of that. So thank you very much for that amazing process. So um, what I I wanted, okay, so you can just be on the call. I just wanted to, um, I, I don't have much presentation to do, but I just want to share an experience to um, everyone that is on this call. I think um, one of the things that a lot of people fail to understand is um, accept the reality of the digital space and how tremendous changes it has um, bring to us. We have okay. seen the difference in the, um, um, before and now. So, okay, um, I don't know if um, if you can just share your screen and just leave it for me. I don't want my face to be so much, too much on the screen. Um, I mean, if you can, yeah, sure. I love it this way because I kind of, I'm seeing my face so big on the screen, right? So my point is um, always to encourage you on how to leverage on them the opportunity that is being presented to you as that. We are, um, DNI Hub is actually not giving you all um, the expertise you need. The first stage of everything, even in marketing, even in every product, is to create awareness, right? So this gap that um, National State Government is trying to close where a lot of people are not too aware of what it actually means <clears throat> to be in the digital space, right? And um, also leverage on the opportunity it presents. For me as a person, I think I have been into the digital space for quite um, a time now, let's say five, six years right now. If I actually tell you um, my own experience, so I'm just going to share my experience with you. Um, number one is I did not for one study any tech related course in the university, right? I come from a background of sciences, but not computer science. So I studied industrial chemistry. So you can imagine we're talking about acid base and all the likes, but quite true. If you ask me anything that has to do with chemistry right now, I might actually fail woefully because I can't mostly remember what I did. But I quickly transformed into the digital space where I begin to learn about technology, a lot of tools, how to um, leverage on those tools, how to and I, by chance, I can tell you that that has improved a lot of things um, that I have been doing right now. It has taken me to so many places. It has actually given me access to a lot of people, a lot of networks, and um, all of that. I think my first encounter with um, Nassau State, actually, as even a state, because I've never been to Nassau State except maybe passing by, is because of the technology we are talking about, we are actually in a space where we just went for an event and I get to come in contact with um, His Excellency, that is um, the um, Senior Special um, Assistant to the um, Governor on ICT. I think we met in the airport and all of that is where network begin to start and here we are today. Secondly, as a person, I cannot tell you that um, for the past three years right now, I have stopped working in a physical office I personally work at home, and I can bet you not to brag, I earn even what a professor cannot earn in the university at, those, at this current stage because I work with two foreign companies at home, and um, I get paid my money as has went due, and I even earn better than even the salary scale in Nigeria. So this is just the opportunity you can get in the digital space. A lot of people will think you are performing magic. A lot of people will think you are doing things. No, the whole change is happening and one thing i do advise people is nigeria we are not even there yet this is the right opportunity to jump in the space a lot of things are going to happen in the next five six years unless you position yourself to be among those people that will adopt this early stage in national state in a, a lot of businesses are transforming right a lot of businesses are transformed. Everybody's accepting digital technology but the problem is now who are going to work on it who are going to market it who are going to work as developers who are going to work as product people who are going to work as designers right who are going to actually be in the forerunner of educating people in the forerunner of even making money out of it because whether you like it or not 
if you do not do it, you see your government, you see the people around you hiring people from Lagos. I do tell um, a lot of people that Lagos people like to package, right? No offense to Lagos people, but they have this um, way of adopting things very quickly. They have a way of accepting technology so quickly. And before you know it, they are already gurus in those aspects. They quickly jump in. And before you know it, they can package themselves and begin to tell you we are expert on this and this. That's why you see even our state government, even our um, agencies, if they are looking for experts to carry a particular tax to develop website, to develop software, they have to now start going to Lagos, Abuja to recruit all these gurus. While we have a lot of talent, a lot of people that can quickly do it within the comfort of the environment we live in. So what we are saying is we need people, we need people to come into that space in every aspect. Let me tell you, whether you like it or not, last 10 years, you will never have believed that you can just take this, your phone and quickly make transfer, transaction, communicate to people via video calls. I can remember the era of to go where we communicate. We don't even see faces, but now we can have a live video chat across the world, communicate to people globally. So these changes are not going to stop. They are going to continue. And the advancement in technology, Africa is a large market. That's why the white people can never live there. We are more or less consumers. So, but when you position yourself as a resource person, when you can um, position yourself as an expert in this field, find a space that will work for you. Find a particular skill in this space that will work for you. We have high demand for digital marketers. We have high demand for website developers. We have high demands for data analytics. We have high demand for a lot of fields, product manager, project managers, right? So you need to ask yourself which field, right? So I, for once, if you ask me, I know a lot of people might be wondering, okay, which field can I go with? No, my best advice is this. Most of these tech roles comes with personality as a person. If you're a person that loves, you know how we do in school, comrade, comrade, there are people that are very good in managing, in coordinating people, in carrying out activities in group, right? Those kind of people are usually called their good product and project managers, right? So you can quickly and easily adopt yourself and begin to learn more about project management, product management, because you are managing people, you are managing tax, right? If you are very good in calculations, you love numbers, you love statistics, you love anything that has to do with plus and minus, you, are, you can easily adopt to data science, data analytics field, right? So First of all, ensure you analyze yourself, assess yourself, what are you good in, then consult somebody, you can consult Zaid and say, Zaid, I noticed that I'm good with this, I love this, or anytime I see colors, anytime I see design, I get easily fascinated, or I love design. Zaid will tell you, good, well, it seems you have criteria of um, a good graphic designer, a good UI, UX uh, kind of thing, so let's get you on board on designs and all of that. So this is what we... DNI Hub is trying to do. We want to like position a lot of people in this space to be able to pull in projects, to be able to develop solutions that can help. One thing you need to understand about technology is not about the money. First, about what solution are you offering to people, right? Value first before money. So we need people to come in first and deliver those values to the community, right? So always ensure that whenever you are learning, ensure that you also deliver value in your process then the last but not the least i do encourage people i don't lie to people in my in my um talk you are going to experience a road to, a lot of roadblocks it's actually very challenging the economy is no good you need money to learn i won't lie you need money to learn you need data subscription right you need to to get data and you need to go and work at some point right you need to go and work to get money to begin to learn so what i usually advise people during your learning process is set some short time goals while you have long time goals attached to it so when you are learning ensure that you are learning something very quick like zaid will easily tell you if you can be a good social media manager a manager for a business, let's say you know how to manage Facebook, WhatsApp, Instagram very well. These are things or skills you can learn within one month, right? You can learn within one month. And the moment you learn that a lot of businesses are looking for people to manage their social media handle. Let me tell you to be frankly, you don't need to be projecting for big money. Start from there. Okay, you have one or two businesses. You can have a particular business in Nasara State or in Lagos that is looking for somebody to manage it. Facebook. You can say, okay, I can manage it, right? Pay me 15, 20,000 a month. 
that money will help you in your learning process. That money will be more like your data source. So I do tell people, if you are looking to learn software development, it's actually a long time journey. It might take you six months, one year to be a professional. So during those lock, uh, period, you might struggle with data. You need to go to work. You need to look for what to eat and all of that. So it will actually be a roadblock for you. But to ensure that you keep fit in the journey, get a shorter time skill or short skills to learn you can be a content writer you can be a copywriter right all these things can help you and you begin to get one or two jobs that will give you five thousand ten thousand fifteen thousand twenty thousand naira, right so it helps you a lot in your learning process so ensure that you develop yourself and before you know it you begin to scale and want to hear so much news so much project coming out from DNI Hub alumni we want to see how we can also help you, right? The mentorship will be made available from there. I'll also be partaking in mentoring a lot of people in the process, right? We are going to mentor so many people in the process that will actually learn a lot and will get to also share experiences. We all are still learning. Nobody is an expert and all of that. So thank you very much, um, Zaid. I think uh, I have done my tech talk um, quickly. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I really like uh, what uh, Mr. Yohana has really said. You know, it's it's not easy. If everyone should share their knowledge with you on how they really started. See, it's a very huge journey. You will, I remember when I was in school, I used to, I used to, uh, I, I, I did my undergraduate degree at the Federal University of Technology, Mina. So anybody that's from Mina understands that there's a place that will go and gather like a marketplace. To go and to go and hustle for wifey. Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi. <laughs> so, of course, I yeah, have that location right in my school. Wow, you see, it's not easy. I stay around one o'clock, two o'clock in the night. Mosquitoes will be disturbing. We will be we'll, we'll stay there like we, we just died there. So it's not an easy task, right? You learn this, you learn that. And I remember when it started for me. It started as like I I saw my friend. He was he, he wrote an article for someone and he was he earned five dollar on Fiverr. I was like, ah, they give you five dollar for waiting. He was like, I just write article and they give me five dollar. I was like, ah, half an hour back. Show me how this works. I mean, I won't get five dollars too. <laughs> so you see, so guys, um, by the special grace of God, just as uh, my Mr. Yohana have said, you can see that we are we are we are getting able hands that are coming into this program to want to assist you for absolutely free. You are not paying us anything for all of this. We want to make sure that we craft up craft of Nigeria to be in such a way that everybody is going to enjoy as a youth. There is always a back door out of any problem. There is no how. There is always a back door out of any problem. You are not getting from the government. It doesn't mean anything. Right now, look. So many people. When you go to Lagos, you will see guys. So many people working with bag, as in they will just they will just be there. You don't really know how they live their life and things like that. It's just like Lagos is the center for guys for tech guys. You understand? So all of these things, we are encouraging you people to stick with us, learn with us. They give you uh, attendance. You take it very serious, right? We are trying to appreciate you people. So we, are, we, we want to make sure that uh, we, we build a community that people are going to be uh, self-reliant and they are going to, to understand that you, you don't actually need the government to, to, to carry money to your doorstep and give you. That is the mindset of so many people. It's just like they, they've gone there They've thump, they, is it, is it, they voted and they are expecting the government to come, everybody come to everyone, everyone's doorstep, give 5,000, 20,000, one M. It's not possible. The money can never go around. So you have to be the one to support the government. The government earns its own money. It generates money from the people. So it literally means that it's the people that are making the government to grow. So join the moving trade, make the government to grow also by doing, by learning, and by giving to people also. So it all matters down to what you really want. So uh, Mr. Johanna has really said a lot. I, I don't really know what to say again. So um, I'm, I'm out of words, I'm out of words. So for our students here, Johanna, we, we really appreciate you. I really appreciate you a lot. So you've heard him, he will be here with us to teach you people also. So you don't have anything to complain that you don't have a skill or anything. Things will be taught, will be taught here. So. You guys, you guys. Thank you very Thank much. You. Um, uh, so, okay, I think I don't know if um people, uh, if you can just want to just a question or two, I can quickly just answer then. Um, 
Um, so if you have a um, question, please, you can quickly just um, ask. I just want to pick a one or two, anyone from any platform, from Facebook, YouTube, or any platform. If you have question, please. Um, I don't want to see attendance. A lot of people love attendance. I tell people that <laughs> attendance is <laughs> that is the major problem that we're facing right now. Training, right? I, I, I don't like seeing attendance at all. Uh, yeah. So I don't love seeing attendance. Uh, okay. So it's basically thank you. Thank you very much. Zahid. I think from here I'm out. So thank you very much. I am at the backstage and waiting for further clarification. So thank you very much, yeah. everyone, for your time. Really appreciate that. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Johanna. So it means that nobody has question to ask, right? Okay, yeah, I think they will have a question here. We have some questions coming on. Uh, okay, are you teaching us practically or just written? How can, can I do my business at home, Mr. Johanna? Well, I think a lot has been talked about businesses, right? From how to, you can set up your business. Digital marketing is all about doing your business from the comfort of your home, right? From how you set up your business online, how to leverage on some basic tools, to begin to propagate or communicate your business across to people. So um, setting up your business online or from home is all about adopting a lot of tools or adopting tools that will enable you to make people know about your business, social media tools, leveraging on paid advertisement. I think Zaid has talked so much about that. I was in that section that day. So please, if you have not, probably you missed some of those sections, you might seriously need to go and look at those sections that was talked about, especially digital marketing, and it will give you answers to all um, things pertaining online advertisement and all of that. Um, okay, I want to go into web design. You are so much welcome, Gloria Ogun. We are so much and elated to have you and want to also monitor that progress as well. So coming to you, you will still get more heads up and all the... Um, please, is data analysis part of the program we are going to be taught? Not necessarily part of the program, but we are just telling you some of the skills, but they are going to be coming up subsequently. You know, we are just starting and definitely we'll get more hands as regards to some of these tech field, right? So thank you very much for that. I think that would be all for the questions. Zaid, thank you very much. Okay. I think there's, um, uh, Mr. Johanna, you can see there's um, one question, how can someone be a writer? Okay. I very good. Very so good. concerning yeah. writing, right, we have two types of writing. You can either be a content writer or a copywriter, right? So copywriters are people that helps or write copies for companies that sells that helps companies to sell their product, not more like advertisement. So let me give you, for instance, if NASCO or let's say um, Dangote Cement is yeah. out in the market, right? They need copywriters that will write about the Dangote Cement that will be more like they are trying to sell the cement for you, but not necessarily selling the cement, but they are trying to tell you the features of the cement, the benefit of the cement, and all that you stand to get when you use Angote cement. So we call those copywriters, right? And copywriters can come in different form. And let me give you a simple example. You see, when you go around seeing Glow, Coca-Cola, um, MTN advertisement, the people in charge of giving you those amazing names, those names you tend to see on billboard, Glow Yakata, Glow Yafunyafu, <laughs> all those things are coming from copywriters that have ideas on how to better sell a particular product, right? So they tend to come up with acronyms. They come to come up with marketing slogans for companies. If you look at Coca-Cola as a brand, Coca-Cola, you see... They are more like selling emotion now. They are not selling their product. They will not tell you buy Coca-Cola. They will not tell you Coca-Cola is 15 era. No. Their marketers or their copywriters are only showing you the feeling or how you tend to feel when you drink Coke. You see the image, the write-up. They will set, show you a family setting, right? They will show you a family setting. So copywriters are in charge or are in the forerunner of ensuring all those creatives happen. So they will now tell you, to get that taste better. That is the acronym Coca-Cola do. So they are trying to tell you, if you are together as a family, Coke is also involved. It makes the whole meal or the whole dinner or the whole breakfast more better. So copywriters help you in creating content that will help your product to sell, that will help your product to be more appealing to customers. So when you talk of content writing, content writing are people that help companies write blogs, write articles, write emails, 
copies, advertising emails, right, newsletters, and all of that. So a lot of co companies are looking for people to take charge in that field. So if you are good with writing, you love writing, I bet you you can be get you can be paid heavily amount of money to be doing such kind of things. So that is basically what it means. Okay, we have one here said I'm I'm into liquid soap. Liquid soap too, which is a physical product. How can I automate it and turn into digital products? Okay, every product we have can be, be can become a digital product, right? So when when you have a liquid product, number first thing you need to assess is I love people to first of all assess who are your target customers, who are your audience, right? Who is going to buy your liquid soap in the first place? Is there a need for liquid soap in your location, right? So. First of all, when you know who your target customers are, secondly, is to also understand who your competitors are. When you are doing looking soap, you have a money fresh to compete with. How can you better, what value can you offer to your customers that will beat money fresh is what you need to also ask. Secondly, how can you better convince people to buy your looking soap? So when you understand who your target customers are, first of all, is to have an online presence. Your target customers are they online? Definitely they are online. Almost everybody is online these days. So your target customers are on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter and the rest. So understand heavily who are your target customers. When I mean understand who they are, it's not just to say my target customers are in Nasrallah. No, you need to segment what is their age group, what is their demographic in terms of gender, age, right, location, interest. What are they mostly interested in? If you are selling liquid soup, that means your target group might be interested in the kitchen activities cooking right so if you're on twitter and on sorry if you're on instagram or facebook you see a lot of people following cooking classes cooking handle kitchen um handle so those people are actually your interest group because since they love cooking they will love washing plates right so you need to narrow down who your target audience are so that if you come to run your paid campaign you leverage on those kind of data to target to the right people so that you won't be advertising to the wrong people so knowing who your target audience are will help you in selling your product and your product is already a digital product as far as somebody can order for it and you can get it delivered to the person is actually a digital product right digital product does, doesn't mean have doesn't have to be a software it so it just means you leveraging on the platform to sell your product right so you can actually leverage on that Okay, um, Mr. Johanna, thank you very much. I think uh, we are going to stop here. Okay, there was somebody that asked a question that's worth answering. He said, um, okay. I'm learning web development. Is web development worth learning? Well, is that even a question? Web development <laughs> is, <laughs> is worth learning. A lot of people need to have websites, right? A lot yeah. of businesses need to have websites. So, okay, let me give you a glimpse. I am a sale, I'm a solution sales specialist with A2 hosting. For those of you that um maybe are doing website hosting, if you know A2 hosting, they are one of the top 10 hosting companies in the world. So I work as a sales solution specialist for them. And I can bet you the thousands of people every day coming to buy domain and hosting. So it's telling you that a lot of people are hosting websites, a lot of people, a lot of people. So people need to have website, people need to develop. People need to put their business online if they want to stay competitive in this digital transformation, right? So learn what you are actually in the right track, but ensure that you are leveraging on the latest technology, latest tools. Don't be learning just um, uh, how would I say? Uh, Zaid, what is those languages we, we you guys do in computer science? Then is it all these uh, visual basics, right? Um, oh yeah, visual basics. Are you learning Ubuntu? Yeah, you need to <laughs> do the, the, the JavaScript kind of um, web yeah, development, yeah. the Python kind of web development, so that you yeah, kind of. Them. And and there's an update right now that you don't really need to be a, a coding guy. You can yeah. simply learn WordPress also. Yeah, you learn WordPress Absolutely. and drag and drop. So just, it's just I'm, about I, I for once, I, I for once, I'm lazy in coding, so I basically <laughs> just go and hide my face. Either do web, uh, WordPress or Webflow. It's very easy. I just drag and drop, sure. drag and drop, and I'm cool. Yes. So somebody saying, hi, hi, how do I handle the challenges of digital marketing here in Nasrawa? Nasrawa, people work with seeing in believing, and uh, as an entrepreneur here in Nasrawa, digital marketing is not easy. So please, uh, so please, way forward. Okay, that was um, I don't know the specific challenge you are facing, but one thing I do tell people, right, you need to learn also the place of sacrifice. 
some people might not believe your words. Some people might not believe what you are telling them. Some people at some point you tell them, okay, I'm a digital marketer. Let me run advert for your business, right? There's what we did um 2019 with some couple of guys. They were trying to look for people to give them work around digital marketing to help them advertise. I say, okay, you sometimes don't need to wait for those people to come to you. You can go to those people. I tell the guy, I say, okay, there's a new supermarket that came out. I tell the guy, go and meet the manager. Tell him that he needs to have a Facebook page. He needs to have an Instagram page. Tell him the reasons why he needs to have and tell him the benefits um, he will get from that, right? So when you propose those kind of benefits and tell him, you can even manage it for him for free for one month. If he sees the benefit of having those things, then you cannot talk about money, right? So sometimes some people might not understand the benefit till you put them practical for them. If people are having challenge to adopt to digital marketing in your location, why not, okay, tell them, okay, let me set up Facebook page, Instagram page free for you. Let's begin to leverage on those platforms to advertise for you. Let me spend my 5,000, I'll spend 5,000 naira to you. The moment I spend that 5,000 naira and you begin to get people to ask how much, where are you located? That is when I'll begin to charge you. Do you agree or not? That is how to go into business with people, right? So unless people see value for what you're offering to them, they might be skeptical around giving you money to do it because people are not oriented. That's why we're trying to close the digital gap, right? A lot of even businesses, a lot of training are going around businesses to enlighten them on the importance of these things we are teaching you here. So as those awareness are going in, we need people to actually close that gap of providing those services to them. So I don't know if you understand the whole calculation. So NASA just did digital summit, right? Investment summit. And a lot of things around technology has been introduced to businesses, investment, and all of that. So when we have those demands, who are going to close the gap? That's what we are saying. So ensure that you don't get um, frustrated by the challenge, but rather use the challenge to make more efforts to... Um, Get what you want. Okay. Um, I think um, after this question, we are not taking any more questions. You can leave it in the comment section. We are going to answer you people after that. This is our last question for today. So somebody, Sani Usman, I think this is a very, very sensitive one that people need to understand. That um, the online, yeah, you should talk about you should, you should talk about the online and offline business and what's the risk into online business. I think that's the one we need to answer. We should we should answer the risk behind online business. I think that's the most important okay. thing people need to understand. Okay, yeah. so um, I want people to also agree to, with me that um, everything irrespective of what you are doing, whether online or offline, is actually risks attached to it. If we come to, to, that, to the traditional marketing or offline business, there are also risks. I've seen scenarios where people buy products, give out fake money. But I've seen scenarios where people buy products um, in a fiscal store and steal it or go away with it. People order and they don't tend to pay for it. So for the online, there are actually risks attached to it, especially when it has to do with payment, especially when it has to do with delivery, right? So some businesses might run um, online payment platform. A lot of customers might face challenges of making payment. People get defrauded by fake alerts. People get um, um, even um, hacked through their cards when they want to make payment on some platform, especially if they are not too secure. So there are actually a lot of risks to everything you do. But one thing is, how well are you aware of staying safe online, right? Safety online is one of those things you also need to. So now, let me give, give you just this simple case scenario. You see the arm robbers you see coming to your house, knocking on your door at night and all of that. As we are moving to digital technology, those arm robbers are also advancing. They are wearing their shoe and tie to come to you online through hacking your ATMs, hacking your bank. So they are the new robbers. Now, they are not coming to your house because they know you have moved your money to online platform. They will say, okay, this guy has advanced. Abi, buy a jakash. He's in his wallet. He's in his back account. How can we better hack that money? They will follow you online. Now, they are the digital thieves. So the way they are being advanced is physical by ensuring that you have your security, you have your gate man, you close your door, advise yourself the same thing when you are going online. That is what I can say. Thank you very, very, very much. Your 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 presence with us, it's it's like an it's a mind-blowing uh, presence. So I really love everything that you've said. Really appreciate. So ladies and gentlemen, I think we have done justice to everything that you need to know. It's left to you to take it or you leave it. If you leave it, 
the world will still move on. And then it will get to a stage that they will not even know that you are still there. You will just be in the world and you will just be working and nobody knows that you are around. So please take this with a grain of with, with a pinch of salt and you understand how all this works online. You, as you are learning with us, we are going to be teaching you some practicals because some people are asking if it's going to be practical or anything. We'll start practical classes soon. So thank you very, very much for attendance. Those of us that always come, their lifestyle is all about attendance. Oh yeah, go and sign it. Look at it there. <laughs> their lifestyle is attendance. The way we do it, that's absolutely. what they really want. She, attendance yeah. is there. We see this website, www.dnihub.com forward slash events. Go to that day and then you um, just click on the attendance and you sign it. So we'll be calling it a day. And uh, Mr. Johanna, thank you very, very much. I'll be going off now. Thank you very much, Zahid. Thank you very yeah. much for the time. Yeah.